guys so I'm back today with a collective haul for you this is stuff I've accumulated over that was a big word accumulated over the past um couple of weeks so I've got bits from Tesco eBay my local shop uh just Anna D Stash from Jules who I will link her YouTube channel in the description box below so I'm just gonna get straight into it the first two things are from Tesco's um I don't go there often because obviously we don't have a car at the moment and I popped in there um, and they had some reduced card. I wish they had more because this was 50 pence. It's A4, 8 pack. I bought it for the green for Halloween because I thought it would be uh, perfect. That was a bit of a rhyme there, wasn't it? But yeah, I love how shimmery it is. I don't know what other colours. I can't really see. I can see a bit of gold, blue, silver. So I picked up that. Then I picked up this Harry Potter pencil case. I picked it up because of the fake wax seal. I just love it. It's the Hogwarts... Um, the Hogwarts emblem. I couldn't get my words up then, but I love that it's a fake wax seal in an envelope style. And then it got Harry Potter's address on there, and it's a nice size as well. So I picked up that. Then from, I'll go with the D stash. So from Jules's D stash, I bought these bags. They did have the tag on. They were brand new, but I took it off to have a look at them. Uh, these are just six paper bags in various shapes, and I absolutely love them. I've never seen anything like this before. Like I can, I've seen people make them, but I've never known that you could buy them like this. So this one says made with love. You get two of each. I just think they're so pretty. Good for junk journals or happy mail or things like that. Then from Jules, I also bought this. Now she was selling this because she don't like the texture of it. And this is Luna paste and is Stella Jade. And this sparkling paste can be applied by spatula, brush or sponge. So, and I absolutely love the colour of this. Look at that. And I wanted it for that, like, you know, when you put on projects to have like a rusty look effect. So I'm hoping it'll work for that. If not, I'll just use it for cards and that. So I got that. Also from her D stash, what else did I get? Oh, I picked up this as well. Now, I wanted it for the embossing folder. So it came in this little set. So you get the stencil there, which is a nice size, it's six by six. You get this cute little bumblebee die and then I wanted it for the cogs um embossing folder because if you know I'm on JMC's design team and she brought out the steampunk stories collection and I thought it'd work perfect with that collection so that's from Jules's D stash then oh I also bought this from Jules's D stash sorry um I love this I've never seen anything like it I thought they were so cute so you get four wide washies and then you get two normal size washies and two skinny washies um and there's quite a bit on each one and then you get matching sticker sheets as well but these are washi stickers so they're thin like washi I can't peel one off at the moment but they're they're so cute I love them and they're really like handy to chuck in uh, friend mail or put on parcels look at the pretty colors as well and they're all watercolor effects which is so nice and I like the little box that come in as well so that's definitely it from the D stash um then let's go for eBay so eBay I picked up these chit chat doodle bug designs pumpkin part you get 117 pieces in here and I just love that the quirky little saying so it says this is this night is so magical hoppy halloween got candy i'm dying for some candy i have a sweet tooth eat drink and be hairy a haunting we will go it's just fun little sayings and i love the bright colors of it as well so i picked up that i picked up this dye i've already got it though didn't realize because i wanted it for like the lanterns and the flowers and look i've been watching uh, Disney movies a lot lately and I Tangled was one of them and Pascal is so cute but I got it so never mind then last thing from eBay I picked up is this Craftsmith now this is an American brand and I found it from a UK seller and I won it on bid so it's brand new I cut it open to have a look it's in it's called gingerbread cottage paper pad and it's just so pretty it's double sided you get two of each sheet you get tags little gingerbread men and their houses gingerbread men and women actually sorry spots there the stripes houses little stockings look at the gingerbread men in the christmas hat and then on the reverse you've got the gingerbread men and ladies <laughs> 
and just some pretty patterns then. I love that, that's like candy cane. All the sweets, another candy cane stripe, then you've got some cut aparts. Our favourite holiday recipe, it's the most wonderful time of the year, joy, love, peace, believe, Christmas. And then you've got more there, holly jolly, happy holidays and joyful new year, happy Christmas. I can't say, say joy to the world without wanting to sing. And then you've got that one there, which I think is much nicer than this side, actually. I love that. So I picked up that. I also picked up uh, a bone folder. It's a pack of two from Crafter's Companion. Uh, let me show you these magazines because they're really large and in my way. So I seen these advertised on the TV. Now, if you're in the UK, I don't know if they stock them overseas, um, but I just picked them up because they were Disney and for 99 pence, like really. So this is the Lion King book. It's fairy tale fun for all the family. You get a little magazine. You get the Lion King. Let me take it off. You get the Lion King hardback book. So you could turn this into a junk journal, which is what I'm going to do with this. Um, it's so cute, the cover look of that. And then you get the little magazine there. And then the next thing I picked up. Now, I can't sew, I can't stitch, I can't do any of that. But it was 99 pence. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight threads in these gorgeous colours, because obviously it's to make Tigger. You, it comes with needles and the, the squares, or whatever they're called, and a magazine as well. And for 99 pence, I thought you can't even pick up, you know, two of them for 99 pence. So it will be nice to try and have a go at it. And I'm intrigued by these, because look, you can cross stitch all the, these samples, not in this one magazine, obviously, but I wouldn't mind doing the Alice. The Ariel, Winnie the Pooh. There's quite a few on there that I think, oh, actually, I'd like to do that. So, yeah, T usual price is going to be 3 99 So, 99 pence, though, for this one at the moment is fab. Then from JMC Designs. Now, I am on the design team. Uh, she brought out a new collection. I had some of the collection sent to me by Julia. Uh, and then when it was on her chanza, I seen these pieces and I contacted Julia and I needed them in my life. Now, if you've seen the papers, you've got this gorgeous steampunk bun bumblebee and butterfly and she does the stamp and I had to have it. Look at that. He is so cute. I just love him. Her drawings are fab and this is called Electric Field Stamp, this is. It says, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Then I bought the like trim. So you've got the um, lace trim there the gold trim and the silver sequin trim and you get quite a lot on there actually as well you've got the mdf cogs i couldn't think of the word then so they're nice quality as well and they're huge actually they're quite a big size so you get three of them in a pack so you've got them as well and then you've got the charms and the are they cabochons so you've got glass cabochons, you've got keys. I did have some of these um, metal embellishments in my design team kit and they're absolutely fab. I used them on my um, handbag I made. Couldn't think of the word. But yeah, you get a lot in there and they're really heavy actually. So really nice, so I got them. Then I bought a Tonics mystery die thing, whatever it was, because um, everyone seems to buy them and I was intrigued by them, so I got one. Uh, the first thing I got was this one. It don't come with any packaging. And I didn't know what it was. And then I cut it out and I'm in love with it. So it's very autumnal. Is that a word? Autumn? I don't know. I'm not even going to pronounce it. So this is, it comes with the two dies. So you have to you put that one and then you do that one to actually cut it out properly like that. But look at that. I've done it on some like bronze card and it looks absolutely stunning. That on a centre of a card would look really nice. And then you've got other leaves to layer it. But because there was no packaging with this, it was sent like this. I don't know what that's meant to be. Like, I've no clue what that die is meant to be there. So if anyone knows what that die is, or you've got this die set and you know what it is, let me know. Then it came with a number seven die. Again, I don't, I wouldn't use a number seven. It came with stickers on as well. Um, my kids are all past seven now. So, and there's no point if you haven't got the one to go in front of it, because obviously my son will be 17 next year. Then you've got this speech bubbles. These are a nice size because you can use these as like raindrops or um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I'd use them, but they're cute. This is my favorite. This is perfect petunia die set. It contains five dies and I love them. They're so nice. 
so I can't wait to have a play with them. And then the last one I got, again with a big sticker on, I don't know why, um, but these are strip die set elegant co columns, two dies. So you get the flowers down there and then you get the butterflies one. The butterflies one is the best one. Really, really nice. So yeah, so that's my little mixed haul. Like I said, it's from over the past few weeks. Um, I love this, so look at that. I've done it in like a green as well. And you could cut the leaves and layer them up and just look at that, the colours together. So I love autumn, honestly. But yeah, that's it. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will link the JMC stuff in the description box below. And take care, guys. Bye.